Greetings and welcome and welcome back to another wristwatch video and in today's video we are going to be talking about a fairly basic and very often misunderstood topic around wristwatches and that is the water resistance rating for them. So essentially over the years a lot of people have asked me questions along the lines of okay so I have like a 30 meter water resistance watch does this really mean I can go diving up to 30 meters with the watch? So this video is essentially me trying to explain what your water resistance rating actually means on your watch. But before you do all that quick wristwatch check what am I wearing today? Well today I'm wearing my San Martin Vintage Diver and if you're interested I have already made a review of this watch and link is in the description of the video. Now let's get something straight out of the way. The water resistance rating on your watch does not necessarily declare how deep you can go diving with your watch. It only declares how much pressure your wristwatch can withstand. Now the reason for this is there is no universal standard on how to declare water resistance on a particular watch. Uh, the meters rating was used, well it derives from uh, how they used to declare water resistance for dive watches in the past which was fairly accurate about how deep your dive watch could potentially go but now this type of declaration is used on all types of watches so field watches, dress watches, chronographs etc but again it does not necessarily represent how deep you can go diving with your let's say dress watch. Now also one more thing besides meters you will maybe sometimes find uh, atmospheres declared or bars or feet now with this part in mind just note in case your watch doesn't say how many meters of water resistance it has but how many bars it has you should note that one bar is the same as one atmosphere which is 33 feet which equals to 10 meters so just in case uh, your watch says like your watch has three bar of water resistance that means 300 meters of water resistance. Now that we got all that out of the way let's finally talk about what your water resistance declaration means for your watch. If your watch only says water resistant and has no number next to it or it says 30 meters water resistant ironically this means the watch is absolutely not water resistant at all and you should stay away from water when you're wearing a water resistant or 30 meter water resistant watch. At best this watch can uh, maintain like you being caught in the rain or something like that but that's basically it. Stay away from water with a 30 meter water resistance watch. You can definitely definitely not go diving with a watch with that kind of water resistance rating. Next one you will find on most uh, let's say more quality dress watches is a 50 meter water resistance rating. Now 50 meters gives you a bit of water resistance. Basically you can maybe wash your hands with this watch or you shouldn't really worry if you get caught in the rain with this watch but again only caught in the rain and maybe washing your hands but that's again it. I have seen some people say you can go swimming with a 50 meter water resistant watch but I still wouldn't really risk it. I think that is still not enough. Now swimming can be okay if you have a 100 meter or more water resistant watch particularly when it comes to 100 meter water resistant watches my advice would be if your watch has a screw down crown and 100 meters of water resistance then okay you can go swing with the watch. If it has a push pull crown don't go swing I think it's still a bit too risky and then you have 200 meters 300 meters 500 meters and above water resistance rating with this water resistance rating you can go diving and swimming and do basically anything around water with that type of watch with that type of water resistance declaration and you should have no issues whatsoever as long as the crown is screwed down properly and I cannot emphasize this enough because I've seen people online complain oh I have a 200 meter water resistant dive watch and yet water still went in and then when you look at the pictures you will notice that the crown is never screwed down properly it's always pulled out so just be careful screw your crown down properly before entering water. Uh, if for some reason a watch says it's like 200 or more meters water resistant and it has just a push pull crown uh, that probably means it's not really water resistant that is probably uh, some misinformation the manufacturer put on your watch. So yeah those are basically water resistance declarations and how you can use your watches around water with those water resistant declarations. However I just want to emphasize one more thing this is when I'm talking about the water resistance ratings I'm referring to mostly new watches. If you have used watches or vintage watches even uh, you should be very very careful around water even if the watch has a high water resistance rating. Why? Because water resistance is 
uh, made possible by using different types of rubber gaskets on your watch. And of course, these rubber gaskets, as anything else, corrodes over time. So if you have a vintage dive watch that has a 300 meter water resistance rating, if you haven't replaced your rubber gaskets on time, that means that the watch probably does not maintain its previous water resistance rating. So before you go swimming, diving or anything with a vintage or used watch, please go to your watchmaker and check if the rubber gaskets are in order before you go into water. Trust me, if you don't, you might have a bad time. Also, one more thing. Uh, also, I noticed a lot of people say, oh, but I have a vintage Seiko 5. I went swimming with it often and it still has no water damage. Maybe, but it's only a matter of time until water eventually goes into your watch. Trust me, there is no way that a 50 meter or 30 meter watch water resistant with 30 meters of water resistance that is uh, does not get damaged by water at one point or another and that's basically it for this video it's fairly short but I think it's a fairly basic yet again very misunderstood topic and I hope this video helps you uh, and please don't go swing with your 30 meter water resistant dress watch and of course if you like this video leave a thumbs up if you dislike the video leave a thumbs down and maybe give me some suggestions on how I can improve my content of course uh, subscribe if you want to see more wristwatch or fragrance related videos and until next time guys have a great day and